Hey, Dan Passarelli here. It was a fairly quiet day in the markets in general and in a lot of the names that uh, we reference. And there's good reason for that. At following Friday's employment figures uh, and everything that went into that, the next big thing is to see where inflation stands uh, when CPI and PPI are released Wednesday and Thursday of this week, respectively. So I think there's gonna be a lot of wait and see, and I think that the market can move quite a bit when that information is announced. Because if inflation is worse than expected, as in higher than expected, uh, then that's just going to mean, coupled with Friday's employment figures, that the Fed has to get even more aggressive and I believe the market should sell off pretty hard. And if, if inflation comes in cooler than expected, as in a lower inflation number, that would just be fantastic news. And I could see the market rallying pretty hard there. So how do you trade going into that? Well, one thing is that if we look, there are some stocks that have implied volatility very low. For example, let's take a look here at Netflix, NFLX. So if you look at Netflix implied volatility, just on the chart here, the implied volatility is under the historical. That means that the options are priced as if the stock is moving less than it is. So this is a really nice example where we had a breakout today. It kind of pulled back just a little bit right down here to, um, to the resistance level that it crossed above today. And it ends up being a pretty pinnacle level here where especially coupled with with the inflation figures coming out Wednesday and Thursday, I think Netflix can can make a pretty big move higher or lower. High, I mean, to the upside, it's got all the way to fill this gap. And to the downside, it can certainly go and test uh, some of the lows that it was at before. And if it crosses below the 20 day moving average, we can definitely get some follow through. So I like straddles in Netflix. Like this is one of the most perfect straddle or strangle plays that I've seen in a while. Uh, just a lot of the stars are lining up. You got the cheap volatility, you got the um, you know testing resistance level, you got the gap to fill, you got all the technical things I just mentioned, and inflation. So um, I like that as a nice straddle strangle play, and I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.